Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Marcelo Forlani from Omelette in Brazil. Let me just spin here. Okay, now I can see you. Mm. Hello, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Not bad, not bad. Thanks for asking. Thank you very much for your time. It's amazing to, to talk about Scream. We're very happy about it. And now going to, to a first question here. Uh, the, the first Scream was released 25 years ago. And at that time, both of you were doing big TV shows as part of Five and Friends. Mm. Why did you decide to be part of this project? Well, to be honest, I mean, Friends was, I think, in its second year and doing really well. I was on the first year of Party of Five, so it was just catching on and think actually we were about to be canceled and then TV Guide saved us, thank God. But um, so I, I, I didn't, hadn't had a lot of success yet. And, and Scream was the first lead in a film that I had ever come across. So for me, it was just a really, really big deal to get a lead and to be a part of something that was so well written and was such a talented um, director and cast. And uh, so, you know, that's why I decided to do it. And I wanted to play a, a campy, like selfish, real entitled um, <laughs> nasty girl. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and Scream was huge, making like more than $100 million just in domest domestic box office and becoming a franchise. And at that point, did you, at what point did you realize that you had hit a, a home run in your careers on, on this one, on, on, on Scream? I, I think that it was such a genre bending um, format. Just first of all, Wes Craven is an incredible, incredible director, obviously. And knowing that he was going to make this film, and also he's so funny, yeah. which I didn't know until like we- Working with him. Yeah. But it's so, I think, um, it's just so different. I think we knew because when your heroine dies in the first like 13 minutes of a film, you know, you have something special. Mm -hmm. you take Drew Barrymore and you kill her off. You, you know, yeah. this is not going to be, it's going to be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And, and tell, tell us a little bit more about the, the, the shooting because, uh, and then, then jumping to, to, to when the movie was released, it, it wasn't like a, a huge hit at first, but the word of mouth helped a lot. Right. How, how was yeah. this the interaction with the fans as well? You know, for me, I was so naive. I didn't know a lot of, I didn't know anything actually about box office numbers. So I, I do remember the first weekend it hadn't done so well. And then I remember, I think it was the second weekend, suddenly my agents, my team called and they were like, it made 30 million. And I was like, is that bad? Cause I didn't know why they were all calling me at once. I thought they were calling to give me bad news. I had no idea that that was actually pretty good <laughs> numbers back then. Um, so that was my first indication that, oh wait, this is something other than having been a part of it and knowing it's a good movie, that's something to be excited about career wise. I see, I see. Um, well, as, as, as you said, it's, it's, it was something different. Uh, it was a different kind of, of a slasher film. And at that time, it was uh, a lot of different uh, slasher movies were about to, to be released as well. You said Wes Craven was one of the things that was different. What, what else was, was different? You, you felt it, you had something different in, in your hands. The, the script was brilliant. You know, it was, you, you opened it and you had to read all the way to the end because you just didn't know what was going to happen next and you needed to know. And it, it's so funny. And the fact that it was, it was a, a horror film taking a look at the genre itself that hadn't really been done before. So it was really fresh and new um, and re really reinventing the genre in a lot of ways. And anyone and can fun. hide underneath Ghostface. That's the, yeah. I think being able to mm -hmm. buy Ghostface and that, didn't they find it in a, buy, yeah, a like shop, a, a like shop. five and dime shop? Yeah. Anybody could, it's that, that's really terrifying. Even like Jason, didn't he like, live in the lake too long or something <laughs> or or mike myers he probably got burned any but you knew those faces were coming but you don't know who's behind this and i think that keeps you on your toes obviously see well now, now jump into this uh new screen movie how was to go back to woodsboro and did you find a way easy to 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 get back there or did you get to to ask directions to get there <laughs> Um, we actually shot this in North Carolina, which was beautiful. It was a really great experience. It was, and it was, you know, nice to get the opportunity to work during COVID because that was rare at the time. Um, but to, to, to sort of step back into our characters and to imagine them going back to Woodsboro and back to that world. And, you know, they, the way they built the sets to look identical to the original, uh, 
was quite breathtaking, to be honest, um, and exciting, nostalgic. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you could really feel Wes's presence on the set. There was a lot dedicated to him. Yeah, he was honored in every way. And you know, this is not this is not a sequel or a I don't know how to say it, number five. Would that be like a this is a relaunch? It's a relaunch. It's not. It's 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 takes all the best stuff from Scream One and all of them but it, it's elevated it's new it's fresh it's i think gorier it's scarier i think yeah. in some ways yeah, but, but because sure. everything nothing scares us anymore i mean we're as the world changes everything you have to be heightened and desensitized mm -hmm, that's right it's a better way to say it <laughs> <laughs> uh but the, matt and tyler the new directors i'd been unsure about doing this without wes because he was such a genius but you know, they they reached out to us. And I had received a letter from them saying how enthusiastic they were about making this film and how honored they were and that they are directors because of these movies. And their enthusiasm was uh, really exhilarating and, and mm -hmm. certainly uh, made me excited about jumping back on board. Amazing, amazing. And, and now you're known as the legacy cast. And I love this. I love this label. Uh, how was the interaction now talking with the, the young cast um, the new boys and girls that are living in, in Woodsboro now. You know, it was really sweet. They're really, really talented kids, like did an amazing job and you, you never know. Right. Um, but they had uh, such a reverence for these movies and knowledge of these movies and excitement of being a part of it and such a bond between them with, as we did at the beginning of this process that it really made me feel like they've got it like they, they know what they're doing they know how to do this and they're going to get it right they were really obsessed with the original movies mm. and uh they became really close they all lived together in this hotel and because of covid they they, they play games every night they just care about it they're still all such good friends but i was really blown away by their acting and making this so real and believable because you know you can watch horror films and sometimes not everybody's Jamie Lee Curtis. Sometimes you go, oh, well, they didn't try. No, <laughs> right? they don't take it as seriously. They took it seriously. Mm -hmm. And it, that's what's great. The quality is fantastic for this film. In this amazing, film. amazing. Well, now I have to wrap it up, but I'd like to know if you have something to say to your Brazilian fans. Both of you are like very well known here in Brazil. So please uh, give us, uh, send them a message from, from, from your heart and also invite people to go and watch screen on, on, on theaters next January, please. We had a blast making this movie. Um, we love these films and I certainly hope that you guys enjoy them as much as we did because um, they're a big part of our hearts. Yes, thank you, Brazil. I, 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 you've always been very supportive of my work and things I've been in. So um, I think everybody should check this out because you will not be disappointed. Amazing. Thank you very, very much. And I watched the movie yesterday. It's, it's oh, really cool. Oh, yes. Good. Oh, good. good. You're the first person really I think that's gotten to see it, it since we've started our interviews today. Oops. Sh 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 should I say that? Maybe, maybe my, my phone is going to ring now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got some connections. Because, uh, nice bootleg. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.